What is up guys, Delboy here. So, Juan Francisco Estrada defeats Saul Rungvasai in the rematch by a unanimous decision. Juan Francisco Estrada, by beating Rungvasai, becomes the new WBC Super Flyweight Champion, and he also becomes a two-weight world champion. As we know, Estrada held a few titles down at flyweight as well, so Estrada is now a two-weight world champion. But I've got to say, I was really impressed with Estrada's performance against Rungvasai in the rematch. Obviously, Estrada lost the first fight by a majority decision, but in this rematch, he made the adjustments and he clearly got the win, in my opinion. To tell you the truth, the first eight or nine rounds was pretty much, I wouldn't say dominated by Estrada, but Estrada was in control and he was winning the vast majority of the rounds. Estrada was boxing sensibly, using a good jab, he was moving well, he didn't get drawn into Rung Versailles type of fight, so he didn't exchange with Rung Versailles like he did in the first fight, he was just boxing really sensibly, countering well and landing good shots to the body and the head. Rung Versailles in this fight, for some reason, he came out as an orthodox fighter, as we know Rung Versai is best out of that southpaw stance, but he, he fought this fight for the first nine rounds as an orthodox fighter, and I think that was a grave mistake. He didn't look as comfortable in that stance. He was falling short a lot with his right hand, which uh, gave Estrada plenty of counterpunch opportunities. The check left hook, the right hand, you know, Estrada was countering Rungvasai as he fell short, and Estrada would pivot away, making Rungvasai reset. And the first eight to nine rounds, Rungvasai was really chasing shadows, to be honest. He did have some success, he landed some good shots to the body, he was aggressive, but Estrada was landing all the quality punches, he was countering well, he was also going down to the body with that left hook really well as well. In fact, I felt Rungvasai was hurt a couple of times to the body. And uh, yeah, first eight or nine rounds, Estrada was in complete control. And it was good to see, to be honest, because historically, Estrada has been guilty of being a slow starter. You know, we can go back to the Carlos Quadros fight. Estrada won that fight, but he had to come from behind. He started really slowly in that fight. And he's done that a few times in his career to date. But against Rungvasai, he started really well. Right from the first bell, he was landing good combinations, good counter punches, and he was in control from the first bell. So first eight or nine rounds, Estrada was really bossing it, to be honest. But after the ninth round, Rungvasai made a tactical adjustment. He went back to the southpaw stance, what, what he's known for. And straight away after he did that, he had more success. He was getting on top of Estrada. He was pushing Estrada back. The uh, southpaw lead left hand was landing on quite a few uh, occasions. And all in all, Rungvasai was applying good pressure out of that southpaw stance. And I actually felt Rungvasai won rounds 10, 11 and 12. I just felt in those rounds his pressure was effective. But it was too late for Rungvasai. He needed to adjust a lot earlier, he left it too late, and Estrada rightly got the decision win. I don't think there's any disputing who won this fight. I felt Estrada won this one quite clearly. So congratulations to him. I, I just don't get why Rungvasai fought the way he did for the first eight rounds out of that orthodox stance. Never really suited him, didn't really look comfortable. He was looking very predictable, and Estrada was just reading him like a book. As I said, when Rungvasai switched to Southpaw, he had so much more success. You know, certainly a tactical error, in my opinion. But Estrada won the fight, and he won it well. He boxed really well in the first eight rounds, and he was a joy to watch. Uh, sticking and moving, counter-punching, hard shots to the body... Just a, just a really good boxing display. And yeah, Estrada, the clear winner here. Clear, clear winner. But 
What do we want to see next from both guys? Well, I'll be honest, it's one apiece. I wouldn't be mad at a rematch. I wouldn't be mad at a third fight. But ideally, I'm sure we'd all like to see Estrada unify against other champions. Maybe Estrada versus Donny Nietes, who is the WBO champion at Super Flyweight. Also, you've got a potential unification with Cal Yafai. Cal Yafai has the WBA Super Flyweight title. And last but not least, we have Jerwin Ankahas. Ankahas has the IBF Super Flyweight title. So I would like to see Estrada unify against one of those guys. But, you know, failing that, maybe a rematch with Rung Vasai. Maybe even a second fight with Roman Gonzalez. That fight could also happen again. Roman Gonzalez beat Estrada back in 2012 in a really close fight. Maybe they could run that one back. I certainly wouldn't be mad if Roman Gonzalez fought Estrada again. I'd love to see it. So, yeah, I mean, Estrada has some good options. And hopefully we see him in a big fight. Preferably a unification fight very soon. As for Saul Rungvasai, I mean, the guy can come again. He's coming off a loss to Estrada. No shame in that. I would like to see Rungvasai jump right back in there with a world champion. Again, you know, Cal Yafai, uh, Jerwin Ankahas, uh, Donny Nietes, all of these guys to me would be good fights. So, yeah, Rungvasai lost, but he's, he's still got options. He's with Matchroom USA. I'm sure he's going to get a big fight soon. So, yeah, Rungvasai, despite being defeated, he can still come again. But, yeah, really good fight. Thoroughly enjoyable, uh, just it, it was worth staying up for. I think the fight took place in the UK around 5am time and I, I stayed up for it, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Share your thoughts below, peace.